All right, so this is what I want it to look like exactly on the wall. Okay, so how I do that is take off this, put it back on default rendering. Okay, I turn on six for my lights. I'm going to be using a lot of my UVs to trick out the system here. So I can highlight all the faces that occur here. And that's providing that I want all rooms to look the same. You know, I don't have to have that. Definitely, I, as a requirement for this lesson, I do not want them to all look the same. This is just an example. Okay. And I can go to materials. If I want to apply that material like this, I can do that. Assign material to selection. And now I have to kind of decide how much tiling is going to occur next step so right now obviously that looks horrible so, tiling repeating of UVs so in this case we'll start out something like 30 okay and this is going to be an odd number it's going to be either you know it's going to be not what you would think it would be Okay, now this is the part where you're going to have to start moving some UVs around to actually have it make sense. And that's why I have such a space in here so I can do that. These really didn't matter. These I can move around just about anywhere in this actual square and it's going to make, as long as I don't overlap them, it's going to make okay sense as long as I can get them highlighted. Okay, 2UV, there we go. So if I move these down just a little bit and maybe even shrink them up a little bit, they'll be all right. These, however, as you can see, I can scoot these up and down. Just barely. I don't want to go outside my texture space, however, so I'm going to have to decide how I'm going to apply this. Another thing I can do is shrink it up this way. And right there, I think works pretty well. I got it right on the fringe. But now my bottom needs some space. So all I do is have to do this. That looks pretty good right there. So there's a lot of level of manipulation here. So right now that looks really boring that all the rooms are the same same texture. So you, you got some work to do there. Uh, for me, I just wanted to show you how to apply you how to apply textures going across. All right, so does that look good? Let's go to high quality rendering. Let's go in here and see what this looks like. Okay. And I would say, yeah, it looks all right, but let's as in high quality rendering, Let's see what we can do with the UVs to kind of make it so things kind of go seamlessly into other things. I would say that looks better. Now I don't want to shrink this at all. And I'm getting these lines that are occurring here because don't forget I didn't tile the other ones. So let's start tiling the other ones to kind of see how that looks. Okay, so there's my, my one tile that's using a 30 to 2 ratio. So here I'm going to apply my spectral map 30 to 2.
and then also do that for my bump map. Also, don't forget that bump map is probably still stuck on one. So maybe you want to tone that down a little bit. 0.25 is seems to be, you know, kind of standard for me. I don't know. And then all of a sudden things are starting to make a lot more sense. Okay, so that's how you apply textures, different textures. That's how you unify the colors across. So for the rest of this, what I want you to do is get everything done as far as the textures aligned on the walls. And then in the next project, we're going to have to look at maybe lighting. And then you're going to have to look at assets. Um, right now, you just got a bare minimum level that has just textures. Very boring. What do you put inside this thing to actually make, you know, the magic happen? You know, things laying on the floor, uh, light fixtures every once in a while, uh, nuclear power reactor sitting over in a corner. Those things get separated out as different objects. And then that way we can utilize different texture spaces because obviously I've ran out of space here. Once I get the hallways mapped out and the floors mapped out, I'm going to run out a lot of room here and I'm going to have to go on to a new UV texture space, which means a new object. So a level consists of many, many little different objects that laying around, but this is your chunking out base that you need to do. Okay. So finish out the rest of this. Uh, well, I'll make an assignment uh, video in the next section. So we'll go on to the next video.